Welcome back dwellers to another video and another PC build. Today it is my turn. I'm going to be building a Ryzen computer finally. Mine's going to be the Ryzen 5 1600 build. Um, we're going to be taking parts out of this old HP Envy, which I've upgraded once before, and putting them into a new build, a new home. And hopefully everything will be copacetic and everything will run perfectly. So what we're going to be pulling out from the HP Envy computer back behind me is the graphics card, which is a 1050. NVIDIA uh, by EVGA, which is not the best, it's the bottom line for the new uh, Pascal cards, but I was actually really surprised by its 1080p performance. Uh, I got 60 frames on this on this box here on The Witcher 3, um, and between 40 and 50 on Rise of the Tomb Raider with high settings, so hopefully with the new stuff it can even push it better. Um, we're also going to be pulling out the power supply, which is a 400 watts or 430 watt EVGA power supply. Bare bones, still got the ketchup and mustard wires. Hopefully the power or the cable management on the case is a little bit better so I can hide most of that. And we're going to be pulling out the HHD, oh my HHD, HH Greg. Um, <laughs> we're also going to be pulling out the hard drives for this. So we have a one terabyte. A mechanical drive and an SSD that we can put the operating system on in a few games. Um, so the rest of the the video is going to be time lapse. I'm going to get that crap out of this computer and kick that into the garbage. I'm just kidding. We'll, we'll get rid of it properly. Um, and then I'm going to be building new stuff. So remember, guys, if you like this kind of video, hit that thumbs up button and uh, sub for more stuff like this whenever we can. I think me and Dan kind of like all this computer building stuff, so it's pricey, but whenever we can, we'll, we'll put up more videos if we know you guys like it. So stick around, sit back at the popcorn, enjoy, and uh, we'll see you on the other side, guys. So guys, it's a few days later and the build is complete. If you notice, the motherboard is slightly different. The Asus one had problems with the USB 3 connectors on the front panel. Maybe my fault, maybe not. I'm not going to say. But we went with the Gigabyte Gaming 3 here. Uh, the same chipset, but this one has a sweet red LED strip down the side, which is pretty good because I lacked some of the LEDs that I wanted. Right here in particular, the, the 1600 Ryzen 5 does not come with a red ring LED on the stock cooler. If you want that, make sure you're going to get the Ryzen 7 1700. Um, that's the one, that's the stock cooler that comes with the red ring and the red LEDs. Um, so not happy with that. I wish they had put that in their purchasing. But everything else working performance wise is sweet. Here we go. Uh, I've overclocked all six cores to 3.8 gigahertz with an offset voltage of 1.5, which makes it 
The temperatures are hovering around the high 40s here, but they can get down to the mid 30s. And as you can see down here, all cores are 3.8 gigahertz uh, stable. So it's been a few days and I was able to rein it into that area. I was unfortunately not able to get 3.9. For the graphics card, I have a 150 offset for the base and a 450 for the memory clock with a voltage of 10% higher. So this is a pretty good build, and I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe and like for more.